In this video, I'm going to show you an advanced way to do skin retouching inside Resolve. That is driven by Resolve's AI through their neural engine. Okay. So back in the day, what would happen is, you know, you want to remove these bags. Like the actor comes to you and goes, Hey, can you, um, I just was having a bad day. Can you uh, try to remove uh, the eye bags under my eyes? And can you just smooth out my skin? Okay. Um, so that is something that would, um, a colorist would handle. So in the past, what you would do is you would go under here, under windows, you would create windows, track them individually. So let's say we create two windows for the eyes. We create a window for the forehead to smooth it out. And then all these blemishes, we create like little windows and then treat them individually. Okay. That takes hours. It is not practical when you're working on any project, you know, when it comes to color grading, everything is super, super tight. So you got to get it done with efficiency, with the best results that you can achieve. Okay. With the time given. So instead, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go under effects. I'm going to type in face refinement. I'm going to drop that on. And at first nothing happens. So when you drop it on, you're like, dude, nothing happened. Um, what's going on? So this is what you got to do. You got to click on analyze and look at how smart this is. Okay. So when we hit analyze, it recognized the face, the eyes and each element on the face. And now it's going to track forward and then it's going to track backwards. Okay. So one click and it just takes care of everything. Okay. So now that we're done with this and it did a really good job, if we need to fine tune anything, you're going to do that in here. Okay. Adjust skin model or face mask size, and you can make those micro adjustments here. We don't need to do any of that. So I'm going to hide this. And I'm also going to click on show overlay. So we just don't have to see the overlay, right? Like check that off. Now the operating mode, I like to select advanced beauty advance and don't get afraid of like the word advanced. I'm just going to take you through it. That's not a big deal. And like we said, the actor asked for, hey, can you just do a quick touch up and uh, remove the eye bags and just even out my skin? So that's what we were asked to do. You have to be respectful. OK, we don't want to overdo anything. We don't want to like literally give her a plastic surgery. She has a beautiful skin, so we're not going to do anything that's unnatural. But for the sake of this example, I will exaggerate just a tiny bit so it comes through on YouTube and you can really see what's happening here. Okay. So the objective is simple. Let's start with eye bags. Okay. So I'm going to go under eye retouching and look how beautifully everything is broken down. And since the mask was just like such a success, it just latched on to everything using AI. We don't have to manually create any of that. Like before, like I said, you would have to track all of these individually and create power windows. So then under here, what I do is I take my eye bag removal and I start cranking it and just look what happens. So before and after, look how good of a job it's doing. Okay. Now the next thing that we can do is under brightening, let's pull out her eyes a little bit. So go too far, obviously, and then pull it back until it just looks realistic. This looks good. We still get to see a little bit of, you know, green eyes that we weren't able to before. Uh, next thing that I want to do is under forehead, I want to smooth out her forehead a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to start cranking it too much and then pull it back and then go somewhere around here. Um, what else do we want to do? Do we want to work on the cheeks a little bit? Mostly just gives us hue and saturation. We don't necessarily need to maybe a little bit just like that, just to give it a little bit more life. In that case, we can do the same thing to the forehead. Just give it a little bit more life like this, right? And now I'm pretty close to being done. Now all I need to do is under my diffuse lightning lighting, this is where the magic is going to happen. So watch this. I'm going to click on this slider and I'm going to crank it and look what it does. Now, like I said, I'm going to kind of push it so you guys can like really see it online. But obviously you don't have to overdo it if you don't want to. Smoothing threshold, let's just see what it does. So if I go to the left, it like basically does nothing. If I go to the right, it just do does too much. So I'm going to uncheck it and leave it where it is. Now, the great thing about add texture is let's just say we've gone too far. So this is before, this is after. 
we've gone too far and we want to bring some of that texture back. Add texture is that tool. If I go in here and if I start cranking that, you see what it's doing? So it's bringing some of that texture back, doing it in a very natural way. Okay. So now if I keep moving it around, look at, if we go to our hero frame, this is where we started. And then this is where we ended up. Huge difference. Okay. Um, we can also use our eye light a little bit, and that's also going to even out the circles under her eyes. And at this point, what else can we do? I'm going to take my recovery amount and it doesn't really do much. Like, I mean, it basically just feathering everything out a little bit more. And there you have it. Like, look, everything latches on. Okay. Nothing is going to break. And like, Look, the amount of work that we did just by moving some sliders and letting Resolve's AI do the heavy lifting for us, it is incredible. This is something two years ago was unheard of. Nobody thought that it would happen or it would work this well. Now, a couple of caveats when you're using this. If you have two characters on screen or if your subject is kind of far away, it might not work as well. If your subject is, you know, if you're just seeing the profile of your subject, you have to make a lot of adjustments to really make this work. So it works much better with close-ups. And guys, I want to tell you, if you want to take your color grading game to the next level, then I highly encourage you to check out this training one hour long, absolutely free. Link in the description. You can sign up, look all the things that you're going to be learning. Plus, you're going to be getting freebies. How many of you have asked me about the free footage? Like, hey, can we get practice footage? Well, once you sign up for the training, you will get access to tons of practice footage, power grades, and LUTs created by me. The link is in the description. Check it out. If you're enjoying the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.